Hello guys, I'm Stein. This October, Sir Roger Penrose, a British physicist, has finally won the Nobel Prize in Physics. Sir Penrose has various marvelous mathematical achievements, for example, an amazing Penrose tiling, and the construction of strange twisted theory. According to the official announcement, this time the Nobel Prize was given for the discovery of the discovery that the black hole formation is a robust prediction of the general theory of relativity. Wow, great. But did you know that Sir Penrose has another face? Sir Penrose aims to fundamentally innovate the framework of science by connecting the fundamental physics and the human consciousness. He has shown a general guidelines for his new science in his books such as The Emperor's New Mind, The Shadows of the Mind, and The Large, The Small, and The Human Mind. Mind, mind, mind. However, his efforts to reorganize various fields of science in its original way has met fierce backlash from many scientists. One of his arch enemies are the supporters of strong artificial intelligence, who contend the thought can be simulated algorithmically. How do you think? Do you think that human minds can be copied by an algorithm? The definite no of Sir Penrose against these assumptions is grounded on the concept of incomputability. In his youth, he also had a belief quite similar to the strong air theorist. However, when he learned Gödel's incompletion theorem in his university, his perception was overturned. At the beginning of the 20th century, Gödel has discovered that every mathematical theory has a theorem that is true but yet impossible to prove. His incompleteness theorem has completely shattered the optimistic mood of the mathematicians at that time, who believed that any mathematics can be described as the simple manipulations of symbols. This seemingly depressing truth Gödel found is shed new light by Sir Penrose. He thinks it is the limit that arises from the lack of the meaning of the symbols. In other words, the true understandings arises from the meanings of the symbols, which will never appear in the algorithm. And that's why artificial intelligence never truly understands something that we humans can. So where does this consciousness which had the potential to grasp the meaning of the symbols come from. Let's see it in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video. Please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.